Stars. They are a Tampa tradition. But there is now a chance your hand-rolled favorites could be snuffed out. Jim Holloway joining us live from the heart of Ybor City, where many of our local cigar shops and hundreds of workers could be put out of business. Explain. We are paying FDA to put us out of business. Jacob Macedo is worried the price of getting governmental approval will force him to close his doors here at Tabanero Cigars. FDA wants us to submit each type of cigars that we make. He's the owner of the company providing 34 different types of cigars, each one requiring as much as $50,000 in application fees, plus dozens of samples. And besides that, to test the cigar, they want a thousand cigars per size. Something small cigar companies simply cannot afford. The uh, FDA has been given control of the U.S. tobacco industry, including the cigar industry. Cigar Aficionado Magazine's executive editor, Dave Savona's biggest concern, the family-owned business. Most of these companies are small. They can't afford this. They can't uh, handle the delay. The reason why we have grown so fast is because uh, we believe in the culture, the history. And we're not here to sell you a souvenir. We're here to, to brand Tampa. So people in Germany, Canada, that they have access to the Cuban cigars, try a Tampa cigar. They go, wow. But unless Tampa Bay's 12 hand-rolled cigar companies can afford to fight back, this will soon be a tradition no more. Now, whether you're an occasional puffer or you're a cigar aficionado and you'd like to support this cause and maybe voice your opinion, we've put several ways for you to do so on our website at WFLA.com. Keith and Stacy, Such a big, important, important part of Tampa. Jen Holloway, live in Ybor. Thank you.